Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, today in uh, WTF news, I mean, there's there's a lot going on. You know, assassinations and election campaigns and Olympics from hell, and uh, just there's so much going on. I don't know. I thought, why not throw a, a wrench into the news or whatever? Um, let's see if I can see if I can do a. <laughs> I can't. Uh, uh, me and OBS and what's on the screen are are backwards. Anyways, <laughs> oh goodness. Subscribe, like, share, and uh, help me grow this channel, specifically on Rumble. I am not long for this YouTube world. They hate me. They literally hate me, and they said, listen, you make hate content. You make harmful content. You'll never be monetized again. So, uh, and I was like, but I got, I got some people. I got some friends on YouTube. And they're like, yeah, and? I'm like, I can't just leave YouTube all entirely. And they're like, okay, that's not our problem. I was like, okay, I guess I'll, I'll try and drag as many of my people over to Rumble as I can. So follow me on Rumble. Not only do you get all, all of these videos, you get all my live streams. And, and I, do, I do live stream mostly exclusively to Rumble, and it's a good time. So doctors, here's a story. Hold your butts. Doctors. Pull 26 inch eel and the eel out of a man's backside after he forced the live creature into his anus. And here's the kicker along with a lemon. And it started to bite his, his large intestine. I can't even begin to understand that headline. Why did he stick a lemon in there? Was, was, was the lemon for the... Did he put the lemon in his anus? And then he got sucked in, like... He sucked in. And then he's like, oh no, I've lost a lemon in my rear end. In my posterior, I have lost a lemon. I need to fetch it. I can't reach in there. I need something longer. That If only I had something that was long, that could had a bitey end. <laughs> what could I use? I know. I have an eel. <laughs> or, <laughs> oh, and then he's like, okay, eel. Get the lemon, and he like shoves the eel in there, and the eel's like, "Yo, I don't want a lemon. Why am I in? Why am I in this butt? I don't want. I don't want a lemon. But ooh, intestine. God, I don't put weird stuff in your butt. That sh that should be a rule. Don't put weird stuff in your butt. Don't don't put hamsters. Don't put lemons. Don't put eels don't put chickens don't put things in your butt that's like weird i mean sure if you want to put a dick in your butt i guess that's fine it's at least it's attached to something no no not a an eel goodness i mean uh that's just goodness so a man who stuffed a live eel up his backside was left in agony when the sharp Toothed sea creature tried to bite its way out of his digestive tract. Oh my God, I have cramps just thinking about that. That is horrific. The so horrified medics in Vietnam discovered the 26 inch long eel in x ray scans taken to diagnose the cause of his pain on July 27th. Local media reports. 
they found the eel had attempted to chew its way out by biting through the wall of his large intestine. What did this guy think was going to happen? Did he think the eel was just going to go in there and then just wiggle around a little bit, touch his prostate, he was going to come, and then everything was going to be fine? Like, what did he think was going to happen? An eel's just not going to lie down and die. He's going to try and fight his way out. Like, that's just, it's stupid. It's literally, it's stupid. It's Darwinism. They found the eel, yeah, okay, had tried biting its way out. But initial attempts to remove the fish with a probe through his anus were thwarted when medics at uh, the Vietnam hospital in Hanoi found a lemon stuffed up there too. They're like, okay, well, we're going to go in the back door because obviously that's the door. And they go in there and they're like, oh, there's a lemon in here. So it looks like he said, it looks like he sent the lemon in there to get the, the eel out. Well, how's that going to happen? Lemons don't bite. Weird. So he would, the doctors were, th were thwarted by, by a lemon. Surgeons had to cut through his abdomen to remove the eel with forceps, with stomach churning pictures showing the creature on the operating table. Now, this photo here is entirely blurred out, all the yucky, bloody stuff. So, I mean, I'm going to scroll past it. Actually, no, I'm going to look, look at it. They're pulling this eel out of the guy's stomach, and it's just. And so here, uh, what, what, it was a lime. I don't know why I keep saying lemon. This article is, a f is confusing, lemon and a lime. Oh my God. So this, the gentleman had this up his rear end. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about it other than, oh my God. But then again, this is WTF news for the day. So doctors manipulated the lemon. It's, it's a lime, I guess. Back down through the patient's anus until it popped out before stitching up the hole. So they, they pulled out the eel from his stomach. And then they're like, all right, well, we don't need to pop the lemon or the lime through, through his stomach. We can just push that. We'll just push it down until it pops out the pooper. Apparently, what happened? Um, before stitching up the hole in his intestines and cleaning out a leaked fecal matter, medics say he would have died without treatment and will have to live with a colostomy bag for the rest of his life. Oh my God, he's going to have to live with a colostomy bag? He's going to have to shit in a bag for the rest of his life. Because for some reason, he put an eel up his asshole and chased it with a lime. Hospital officials have not named the patient and only identified him as a 31-year-old Indian national. Oh, my God. He's from India? See, in my country, in Canada, what they do is they dig holes on your property or on the beach or in the park, and then they shit in the hole and then they cover it up. And then when your kids are playing on the beach, they find, they find shit. Apparently, this fella went a different way and put an eel up his ass. Hospital Deputy Director for the Center of, uh, for Colon and Rectal Surgery said they had performed many surgeries to remove foreign objects from patients' anuses. He told local media how they had removed everything from glass bottles to sex toys. See, a sex toy makes sense. If they're like, oh, this guy lost a dildo up his butt, it makes sense. But this was, he said, the first time they had to remove a live animal. 
Doctor warned that eels are animals that can survive in anaerobic conditions for a long time and can puncture the digestive tract. Yeah, you put them up there. You're not going to starve them to death. They're fine. They can last a little while. People should absolutely not insert animals through their anus to create a strong sensation, as the consequences can be severe. Experts say that as long as they are damp and out of direct sunlight, eels can survive many days without water. This image on the screen here is of a Sony TV, but looking in the man's ass, they're trying to get the eel out, and they're like, what the deuce? We're thwarted by a lime. <laughs> thwarted by a lime. Oh my God. What a shitty gig that is. Good Lord. Disturbingly, that's not the first time that surgeons had to remove the critter from a person's insides. In March, a 34-year-old man from the northern Quang Ninh province, Vietnam, has admitted, was admitted to hospital with severe abdominal cramps after complaining of stomach aches. Local media claims he was given an x-ray and an ultrasound, which showed he had a foreign body lurking in his abdomen. It caused him intestinal perforation and peritonitis, a life-threatening complication when the tissue lining the abdomen becomes swollen. The patient was given urgent surgery to move the mystery object, which the shocked surgeons discovered. It was a 30-centimeter long live eel. Why are these guys putting eels in their bums? Why are they putting eels in their bums? Now, if, if we're having a problem now where eels are just climbing into guys' bottoms, then we, we need to kill all the eels. When quizzed about how the eel could have ended up in his belly, the patient couldn't provide an answer. But medics believe it entered his anus, slid up his colon, and somehow entered his abdomen. Items can leak out of the intestines and into the bowel of patients suffer intestinal perforation. What stunned the doctors most was the eel was still alive when they removed it. This is a rare case. The rectum is a site with abundant fecal matter and prone to infection. However, the surgery was performed safely. So, uh, I guess both guys are going to be fine first guy the main guy he's got a colostomy bag uh good lord though like what's what he's i don't know how it got in there well then we have a real problem if eels are just are just climbing in there you know what i mean we we have a real problem so doctors pull 26 inch eel out of a man's backside after he forced the live creature into his anus along with a lime and it started to bite his large intestine. So, don't put weird stuff in there. Just put regular stuff in your butt. Not weird stuff. Anyways, that's it for uh, this WTF story. I, I hope you at least had a chuckle out of it. And uh, maybe you learned a lesson or two. Anyway, subscribe to me on Rumble and on Twitter and I guess on YouTube but definitely on Rumble. That's where my future is. I'm not long for this YouTube world. Anyways, I love you all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. <laughs>